Welcome, welcome, and thrice welcome to this new vlog. And before we start, there's this. Yes, that's the sound of this YouTube channel crashing through the 3,000 subscriber barrier. And I have a letter here on the subject from the Ipcrest cinephile who says, Dear Pete, congratulations on crashing through the 3,000 subscriber barrier. However, are you aware that there are 15 year olds vlogging from their bedrooms about Spider-Man No Way Home who have considerably more than this? Listen, Ipcrest, if that's your attitude, if you're going to bring me down, then frankly, I'd prefer it if you didn't write to me. You too can be part of this success story. You can, as it were, siphon off some of the euphoria by subscribing to this channel. So hit that button now. <sighs> Romola Garai is the actor who's been a valuable presence on British film and TV for a while. And now she has made her very accomplished feature film debut as writer-director in this leery British horror, Amulet, about an immigrant asylum seeker from some fictional Central European war zone, kind of Romania meets Bosnia, played by Alex Sekarenu, an ex-soldier crucified with secret anguish and guilt. A twinkle-eyed and weirdly disturbing nun, amusingly played by Imelda Staunton, finds this man a place to stay in a tumble-down house occupied by Magda, played by Swiss actor Carla Jury, who is keeping her strange old mum locked in an upstairs room. Things deteriorate from there. A demon. Do you know what a demon is? The demon's essence is evil, pure evil. But evil isn't simply an idea, Thomas. Through its body, it delivers evil. It becomes tangible. <laughs> It's that very Brit cinema version of body horror in which the body involved is every single manky, mouldy surface and dusty inanimate object. This film isn't perfect, but there are some great performances, particularly from Imelda Staunton, who for various reasons put me in mind of Kathleen Byron in Black Narcissus. This week's documentary is a surreal and dreamlike piece of work from filmmaker Salome Jashi called Taming the Garden. Some years ago, like the greedy, sad king in a fairy tale, Georgian billionaire and former Prime Minister Bidzina Ivanishvili set out to buy, uproot and transport hundreds of magnificent mature trees from all over the country to transplant into his own private garden. Clearly, the communities involved are very conflicted. Ivanishvili is presumably paying a lot of money, although the film itself doesn't give cash figures. And the owners of these trees must have originally been willing or even eager to sell. But when the awful moment comes and the trees have to be taken away, it feels as if part of their collective soul is being confiscated. And the garden itself looks like a strange, hot-housed, soulless place. A very interesting story, this, about rich people. Jeff Bezos has his pointless space mission. Bidzina Ivanishvili has his tamed garden full of trees. OK, that's it. Everyone, please get your debit cards out and buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian, and leave a comment on this vlog sharing your own thoughts. Be seeing you.